Hi, and welcome to another edition of Storytime with Brian Van. Holiday weekend, 4th of July weekend, right? Got my little guppy Sophia here, right? You guys have seen my kid Max probably a million times by now. Holiday weekend, we had a lot of plans here at home. So we were in the shop on Saturday, weekend of the 4th of July. We're in here actually working on this mini that, uh, what's your name, honey? that Will is sitting on right now. The three of us were wrenching on a bike, just having a little fun, right? We didn't go anywhere for the holiday. We had the showroom closed. Holiday weekend, everybody wants a day off, right? Yeah. Yeah, which is fair, they all work hard, so getting a day off is a good thing. Have a nice long holiday week. And so, gentleman walks in the back door and asks, wow, are you, are you guys open? And we're like, well, no, not really, because of the holiday weekend, right? And then I asked him, well, how far did you drive? You know, where'd you come from? What did he say, buddy? He said Elkhart, Indiana. That was about three, three and a half hours, wasn't it? Yep. It's a long way. So, we can't let somebody drive that far and not open up for them, right? Especially when we're right here. So the three of us went down to the showroom and opened up for, we're just going to use his, the initial of his last name, John S. and his wife. We opened up, went through the products, we ended up selling John a jacket and a couple of pair of gloves, working with him. A lot of fun, his wife was really nice. School teacher, right, you were talking to her? Yeah. Nice lady, boom, high five on that, I like it. Of course, my kid Max is helping me out with the products. It was really great to work with them. It's been a long time, honestly, since, you know what, I made a direct sale to a customer because it's not really you know my role in the company at this point, but it was great to do it and it taught me I should probably be doing it more. After we reopened the shop the following week, this shows up, right? And it's, I see the address label, it's from John. I don't know what this is. I mean, I'm hoping it's a thank you card, right? So we thought it'd be kind of cool if we just did a little video and opened it up and read what the card had to say. You think this is slow, you should see the kid at Christmas, okay? I like that, that's a great start for me, right? American flag. Dear Ryan, thanks for accommodating us um, on our unannounced visit to your shop over the holiday weekend. We really appreciate yeah. the um, fantastic customer service and your, your willingness to work with non-business hours. Take care. Sincerely, John and Kristen, Elkhart, Indiana. I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of proud of that. Yeah. And I'm really, it's cool that, you know, he took the time, him and his wife took the time to send the card. It was great to work with him. We really enjoyed it. And the moral of the story is, right, Small business like ours, you know, we're, okay, we're kind of big, but still small business and obviously family owned and operated. You know, you show up like that, we're gonna work with you, man. We're gonna, not gonna turn you away because just like you, we're motorcycle riders, aren't we? Yep. Who here rides a motorcycle? Me. What color are the grips on your bike? Pink. Boom. I'd like to thank John and his wife for coming out. It was a pleasure and remember, Thanks for shopping at Sport Bike Track here. We really appreciate it, don't we? Yeah. 